Hello, my name is Rodrigo. I'm a Cisco Tech Engineer from the Security Solutions Team. Today, I want to share with you what ICE Messaging Service is and the relationship with the Q-Link errors that you might see in your ICE environments, alongside basic troubleshooting for those. Firstly, we are going to start by reviewing this feature called Messaging Service. Thus, we need to start by reviewing how logs are stored within ICE. All the nodes on ICE are going to categorize the logs that they generated in the following categories that we can see in this menu on ICE that is allocated in Administration, System, Login, Login categories. Remember here that there are three personas in which ICE can be configured. Administration, these nodes perform all administrative operations, handle the configuration related to the features that we can configure on ICE and allow us to have a management of the full ICE deployment through the dashboards. Additionally, these nodes will perform purge and guest operations. Policy Service Node, or PSN for short, these are the nodes that are going to perform the operations that you configure on the administration persona. They provide access into the network to connect their endpoints. These nodes are going to evaluate the policies configured on the dashboard of the primary administration node. Monitoring, they are going to be the syslog collector of all your deployment. The nodes designated with this role will store the log message from all ICE nodes in your network. Coming back to the login categories, we have seen that this configuration over here on the PAM will determine how login is going to be stored in the deployment for different storage servers that are named targets. Notice here that the log collector is the primary MNT and log collector 2 corresponds to the secondary MNT. Now, with all this context given, the ICE nodes by design are going to deliver logs to the primary and secondary MNT nodes through syslog UDP. Starting ICE 206 and higher version, the ICE messaging server was introduced. What this feature is going to do is that this UDP syslog packets are going to be protected by Transport Layer Security, TLS. I want to highlight that this feature is enabled by default and the services uses TCP port 8671. So if you have this feature enabled, you must ensure that all the nodes in your environment have connectivity through that port. The TLS transport is achieved thanks to certificates that are in this menu. Notice that natively the messaging service is going to use the internal certificate authority services that is contained in all the ICE nodes within an implementation. Here we have an example of how the certificates are going to be generated in one ICE standalone node. This same strategy we can see it if we click in the button edit on the certificate used for messaging service. If we have a distributed environment, this distribution needs to be considered. It is important to review this diagram as all ICE messaging certificates in a distributed environment will have the same structure. The Q-Link errors are going to come into the picture as they are errors related to the misfunctionality of this service. When you have this type of alarm of ICE dashboards, you are going to have more symptoms such as the lack of live logs, reports or health status within your implementation. This information that is displayed on the PAN dashboard is retrieved from the monitoring nodes. If the monitoring nodes don't receive information from the other nodes, these menus will be empty. The Q-Link errors can be generated for multiple reasons. This error is generated mostly when you add new nodes within the deployment, perform an upgrade or version of ICE, or configuration backup restore of ICE. Due to the structure of the internal certificate authority services from where the certificates are based. The following is a list of alarms that can be generated from Q-Link problems. Timeout. A Q-Link error alarm with the cause as timeout occurs when there is a network issue between two nodes in the Cisco S deployment. Check the connectivity on port 8671 to troubleshoot this error. Unknown CA. A Q-Link error alarm with the cause as unknown CA occurs when there is a broken Cisco ICE messaging certificate present in the system certificates window. To view this window, click on the menu icon and then choose Administration, System, Certificates, System Certificates. To resolve the previous errors explained, the following points can be reviewed. All the nodes are connected and synced. This is displayed in this venue, where all the green tick will indicate a correct synchronization between the PAN and all the remaining nodes within your implementation. All the nodes and the Cisco ICE messaging service are functional. This can be verified if we go to the CLI of the node and check with the command 
show application status size if the ICE messaging service process is running. To review that the port on ICE is open, please input the command show ports include 8671. Also verify that the connectivity among ICE nodes is not blocked by external entities, such as firewalls. Review if the Cisco ICE messaging certificate chain on each node is not broken and the state of the certificate is good. In this example, we can see that the chain is in a good state. As this certificate will be used to secure the connection, it is important to have a good certificate. Otherwise, the connection will not be established. To resolve the problem where the certificate is not good and we are receiving alarms related to unknown CIQ link error message, we need to do the following. Regenerate iRoot CA. Regenerate ICE messaging service certificate of all the nodes of the environment, preferably. As we can see in this demonstration, this procedure is achieved in few minutes and it can be performed without any impact in the production operations in your environment. Once we finish this procedure, we need to wait for a few moments until the QLake error disappears and we manage to see again health status and live logs again on ICE. Another thing that you can attempt is to disable the ICE messaging service. By disabling this feature, the nodes in the deployment will be sending UDP messages to the MNT if you consider that this feature is not required within your implementation. In case you have further comments or queries about this feature, please contact TAC so we can help you to overcome your network challenge. Thanks for the time you took to watch this video.